hello everyone welcome back to the tableau tutorials in this video we are going to see the creation of two important visualizations one is a tree map and the other is the word map now tree map is supported by tableau uh, it is easily created with uh, just a few clicks that is present in the show me tab so if we just go to the show me tab this is the tree map that's present it needs at least one dimension or one or two measures for its creation so it's very similar to uh, this packed bubbles that we got over here the only difference is that the packed bubbles provided the size in the form of a bubbles that were uh, separate from one another but this tree map provides the size difference on the basis of the rectangles that are accumulated within one another okay so let's just first see the creation of the tree map let me get the same data that we got uh, in the previous video that is the sales the profit and the subcategory over here now we can just select a tree map and you can see it's created right so again what it has done is taken the profit as colors and this uh, sorry the profit as the size and the sales as the colors if you just want to change it what you can do is just remove all these things we have just got the subcategory get the profit uh, into the size part and the sales into the colors part right oh uh, sorry we have to get the sales in the size part and the profit into the colors part so the profit into the colors part right so this whole information is uh, shown to us similar to what was shown to us before that is uh, all these uh, different subcategories how much sales they are uh, giving to us it is shown by the size and how much profit or loss uh, we are getting from them is shown by their colors although tables subcategory is giving us a humongous amount of sales that's like the fourth highest in the sales but it is not profitable subcategory it is giving us a loss of seventeen thousand seven hundred and twenty five dollars so this is the kind of uh, information that is uh, shown to us through a tree map similar to what we got in the packed bubbles uh, kind of uh, information like this now suppose you want uh, the value of the sales and the profit in the labels as well so you can just get that over here the thing is that it is much more easier to get the information written in this particular tree map than it is in the packed bubbles because their size is limited uh, and uh, this size is like much more easy much more subtle to uh, use okay now uh, suppose you want a special a special thing like uh, the percentage of the uh, sales so what do you do that uh, instead of the amount or along with the amount you also want the percentage of the sales so how do we do that we go to the sales label uh, we go to this quick table calculation and percent of total then what we would be getting is the percentage of the sales the total sales and the uh, profit so sales percentage and the profit this is the information that we are getting in each of these subcategories okay uh, so that is all about the tree map now the second visualization that we are going to talk about is known as the word map or the word cloud now what is this word map or word cloud uh, this word map or word cloud is actually a kind of a visualization that helps us depict the data in a textual format so let me just create a new sheet and rename it to vis10 it is not supported by tableau so we have to uh, take into account a few extra steps to create it so let's see uh, we are going with a similar data that is the subcategory and the profit and the sales right so if we just get the subcategory into the text we get all of this subcategories that are listed now what do we want is uh, in the word cloud or in the word map we want the text of the particular subcategory to be larger if it is giving us the most number of sales and the text should be smaller or the font size should be smaller if it is giving us the less sales so this is the kind of a uh, scenario on which the word map or the word cloud is built so let's just create one for ourselves as well uh, what we can do is we know that we are going to work with the size of the text according to the sales that they have generated so let's just get the sales and drag it into the size as soon as we do that a tree map is generated which we don't want so this is the main step that we need to follow over here for the creation of the word cloud okay what do we need to do is as soon as we drag the sales 
here you see that this changed to automatic this marks drop down changed into automatic and when it changed to automatic we got the tree map if we just change it to bar we would be getting something like this which is not very good looking so that means basically we can just change it right as per our choices like all of these things different things we can just change it so what we are going to do is we are going to change it to text uh, actually the sum of the sales should be in the size and then we can just change it into the text and when we do that you can see that we are getting the information like this now from this what do we get we get that as per the word cloud is concerned the subcategory is not a very good measure of the information like uh, chairs phones storage tables binders are all of similar sizes and also it's not looking very good it's not very well organized so what do we do is we try to change the parameter we remove the subcategory and let's just uh, open this state sorry state in the text field uh, if we just open this then it is looking very much um, presentable right now we are getting the different states and we are getting the different values out of it um in a very much organized fashion so this is how the word cloud is created that's it now this is the basic step that we have followed we can follow many other steps let's see how we can do them suppose you want uh, it to be colored on the basis of the profit let's just get profit into the colors and change its colors so let's just go with a conventional uh, red green format red green diverging and click on okay red means the loss or the uh, lower profit and darker the green means the higher the profit is uh, this is what we are getting out of the word map if you want to change the text like you can go to the text and change the way it is looking like i'm just going to uh, turn it into a bold and basically change its font to maybe bookman old style and increase the size a little bit to 14 and once you click on apply you would be able to see the changes actually i shouldn't think i should be uh, changing the size click on apply okay that's a problem let's just click on reset and now if you just change it into bold and it into bookman old style right click on apply so yeah it's looking very uh, good right now if you want you can just uh, work with them uh, as long as you want to get the best result out of it like i want to apply the italics okay and click on okay once you are happy with it so this is the kind of the word cloud that we have created but this is just uh, uh, an example right you can use it to communicate the different kinds of information like suppose uh let's just remove this profit and the sales suppose this is what we have and in the uh says we get this discount so the states which are giving us the most discount they are being shown we can also get the same parameter in the colors as well right so what will it do it will uh, communicate in the darkest color the parameter like um uh, the discount texas is giving us the most discount that is the highest the size and the darkest the color Uh, we can also just change it to a particular theme like this to get a better view at the colors this is on the basis of the discount if you want we can just duplicate it and convert it into a similar kind for the sales as well like drag the sales in the size and drag the sales in the colors part and change the color scheme to something that's looking better uh maybe this one so this is what we are getting on the basis of sales and this is a word cloud that we have created entirely from scratch it was not supported by tableau uh we have created it by using simple steps uh out of a tree map so uh, whether it is a tree map whether it is a uh, packed bubbles or whether it is a word map they all show the similar kinds of data but as you might have noticed in the case of a tree map uh that is over here and this particular packed bubbles sub category is considered a good option for showing the data but in the case of word map it was not looking very good so suppose you want to show the data on the basis of the states 
uh, about their discounts or about their profits or about any kind of a measure value then you can choose a word map over the other two so that's all for this video thanks for watching